I did not expect that getting into hockey meant I'd be using my oven so much. But first y'all got me cooking my skates, and now I'm trying out a new grip. And it requires some heat. Before I can put it on though, I've got to get this off of there. Now this was my first time using any sort of grip tape, and I quickly learned you can't just rip it off. But once I found some sharp enough scissors, it wasn't too bad. Almost done with the tape here, and my water is all set. Now with this type of grip, you can either use a heat gun or boiling water. And I don't know about you, but I don't own a heat gun. I've just got to get my knob off here, and this little end piece keeps falling out. I'm not sure whether I should glue it in or just get rid of it. Alright, time to put on the new grip. The first step is to add these rings that go between your fingers. And now that I've done it, in hindsight, I really should have brought my gloves out and spent a bit longer figuring out exactly where to put them. Because I did take my time, but once I put gloves on, it didn't quite feel the same. Now it's time to slide the grip on there and pour the water. Quick tip for you, don't angle your stick like I did, because there's this thing called gravity. Now that it's finished, let's head straight to the rink and try this thing out. You might have noticed I chose to put number 99 on there. And if I'm honest, I really had no clue who this Wayne Glensky guy is. But apparently the dude is gatekeeping number 99. Okay, I know that's not his actual name, but I seriously didn't know who he was. I chose 99 a while back when I was being added to my favorite hockey video game. It's this physics-based hockey game called Slapshot Rebound. And it's actually the reason that I'm getting into hockey. Now that I've been playing for a few months, it's wild to see how well the game replicates the feeling of playing actual hockey. I mean, just the learning curve alone is so similar. I think hockey might be the most challenging sport there is. There's just so many layers to it. From the physicality, the stick handling, the movement, all things I've spent hours practicing in game to play at a professional level. And now, I'm learning those same exact skills, but in real life. And maybe you can help me out. Shooting is one thing I've really been focusing on recently, but it still feels pretty unnatural. So if you have any tips for me, please leave them down in the comments. And as far as the grip goes, so far I like it. I'm playing a drop-in game tomorrow, so I'll tell you my full thoughts after that. I'll also have the GoPro on my helmet, so if you want to see my point of view, be sure to drop a follow.